Um, this is, I, I had a friend that just asked me to do a quick little uh, thing on uh, tapping a tree or tapping maple trees and I went on YouTube and there's just a billion different videos on tapping maple trees so um, I'm not going to do too all that much but I thought I'd just do this real quick one just a couple things that um, I've seen that probably are something that should be brought up. Um, first thing is is that when you drill your hole and I can't do this with I have to have two hands to do it so when you drill your hole you want to make sure that you don't go in I mean two and a half inches is all the further you need to go in uh, do not you see some of these guys and they're drilling in and they're getting six inches into the tree don't need to go that far don't put that much work into it you're making it a lot more difficult than it has to be two two and a half inches the only part of the tree that the sap is flowing is about this far into the tree the rest of it is heartwood and that's just the like the skeleton of the tree it's what holds the tree up uh, so the, all of your sap is flowing through the outer part of the tree. Don't need to work so hard to stick them in there. Second thing is, is uh, see all these guys with maple buckets, and I, this is something that's been told to me a couple times. Is oh, I get I tap trees, but it's so expensive. It's not expensive. This works fine for tapping a maple tree. Okay, you have it enclosed. Well, probably should wash that a little bit better, but that's okay. Um, you have an enclosed container rinse it out really good when you get done using it. Uh, this is for people who buy their milk. I get my milk from my cows, but uh, my nephew saved these ones for me. And it's enclosed. You just put the spile in through the side. Uh, that way crap can't be dropping into your into your maple cl con uh, collector all that much. Um, let's see. This here, this, this spile is free. It's a sumac spile. You can get, you can use um, well, heck, you can use box elder if you get a small enough branch, but um, anything that's pithy, the, the two that we use mostly around here are elderberry and sumac. Uh, so the inside of the tree is, or the inside of smaller branches are a little softer, so they're really easy to carve out. You just take a clothes hanger and ram it up through there and you get a, you get a hollow tube. And then you just drill your hole and you can use you don't need to have a bit and brace that really looks really cool but if you have one great uh, but if not just go get a cordless screwdriver or screwdriver cordless drill and drill right in there and then you pound this file in you might have to you bring a knife out with you because you might have to sharpen the end, end a little bit though this one looks like it fits in pretty good this is this one isn't perfect you probably you kind of want them so they they go down a little bit but this tree is leaning so it's not going to go down and it's going to be fine you're going to get anything let's see the other thing is you can tap pretty much anything in the maple f family if somebody asked me about japanese maple never even heard of it so i have no idea you'd have to look that up but this is box elder um, sugar maple silver maple soft maples pretty much anything that you know comes in the maple family uh, don't know about Japanese maple I have no idea but they all have that sweet sap sugar maple just has more sugar to it uh, let's see one of the things that I see on YouTube a lot that really just I mean it sends shivers down my spine is okay they're all done with the maple season so they take their tap out and they carve a little piece of wood and they shove it into the hole so that they can help heal the tree okay just imagine this is one of these kind of things that it's an urban myth that you don't know how it got started and then as soon as you actually think about it you're like oh my gosh is that screwy <laughs> Just imagine this, if you had a puncture wound, and a pretty deep one, a two inch puncture wound in your arm, and what you did was you carved a little piece of wood and you jammed it into that puncture wound so that it would heal. Of course it's not going to heal. What you're doing when you do that to a tree is you're introducing disease back into that tree. Whatever is on that piece of wood that you just carved and shoved in there, now that tree has to fight that just as much as it has to heal itself. And it has to heal itself around a foreign object sticking in it trees heal themselves they're living things they're just like we are well not just like we are but just like we do they heal themselves if it's something that really concerns you take a little bit of bleach water in a spray bottle and spray it in there and that's just one part bleach to four parts water spray it in there it'll kill off all the bacteria that's in there and the tree will heal itself it's actually you know god kind of made it the right way he, he didn't screw up if another tree fell over and sliced into this tree that tree would this tree would heal um, so don't 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 carve a little piece of wood and stick it in there so that you can heal the tree and keep it safe because that's an urban myth and it's a, a destructive one it's actually bad for the trees to do that um, 
let's see, days above 40 degrees, nights below 32, that's what makes the maple, that's what brings the sap up through the trees. So, um, you know, if you're thinking, I'm going to do this at the end of March when it gets warmer, it's not going to work. You need to do it. You, you, here in Wisconsin, you should be out, at least in this area of Wisconsin, you should be out tapping by now, which is the first end of the first week of March. If it's a warm year, you probably need to get out earlier. Cold year, you need to go out a little later. Maybe further north, you probably need to go out a little later. Further south, you need to go out a little earlier. Um, there's only a small area in the in the world that cr produces maple syrup, and that's a small strip from southern Canada to the northern part of the United States. It's the only place that has those nights that are below 32 and a, the days that are above freezing and a cold enough winter to actually put the tree into dormancy and create maple syrup uh, or maple sap that can be boiled down to syrup. Uh, it's, it's actually a really easy thing to do and it's kind of nice because you're at the end of the winter and you're kind of like wanting to get out. Get out, tap yourself a maple tree. Don't make it more difficult than it has to be. If you got a bleach container, that's fine. Take that bleach container and rinse it out really well because bleach does taint the flavor. So you want to make sure there's no bleach in there. Let it sit out in the sun for a day. It'll kill off all the... the sun is a great thing that kills everything. Um, so it'll kill off the bleach smell and everything in there if you leave it uncapped and put that in there. I mean, got juice bottles, you can use that. If you have to, you can even use an open um, container instead of an enclosed one like this. It's just then you're going to have to be doing a lot of straining and skimming. So, I mean, use the cheap stuff. This is free. Just go out and find yourself a um, sumac or um, oh, elderberry, something that's got a thin thing and, and just make it in. And then just drill a hole, pound that in, Hang your container on there and come back in a little bit and collect your sap. And just keep doing that until the days, until the nights don't get below freezing. And you, you know, some years are really great, some years aren't so great. Uh, if you have a bad year, do it again next year. Uh, it's, a, it's a good way. This is something that our forefathers did back. Uh, um, back when the English were taxing us, we, uh, most people remember the tea because of the Boston Tea Party, but they did it with sugar too. They taxed our, our forefathers and our forefathers to stymie the English. They tapped maple trees and made their own sugar so that they didn't have to pay unfair taxes. And it's just one of those things that uh, it's very easy to do. It's been done for thousands of years, um, hundreds of years by us Europeans and thousands of years by the Indians. Uh, it, it doesn't take a brain brainiac to do it. Get out and do it. Get outside. Enjoy the end of the winter, beginning of spring. Uh, you can hear the birds singing around me. The geese are starting to fly north. Just give it out. Get out and give it a try. Um, there aren't too many cities in the United States that don't have rows of silver maples, and there they work just as well. Just takes a little bit more sap, so uh, to boil down the, sh the syrup. So anyway, get out there, give it a try.